Howdy. Today, we will be taking a look at Fans Toys, Warthog. And, you know, the more I look at this figure, the more I think it looks like Power Glide from Transformers Generation 1. But that's probably just a coincidence. This figure comes with one blaster, one stand adapter for robot mode, one stand adapter for vehicle mode, and a weird alien mask. You can also open the figure's chest to reveal a heart? That's strange. Robots don't usually have hearts. What does he need a heart for? Who is he falling in love with? In his robot mode, Warthog looks pretty good, but this figure is kind of a mixed bag. The proportions look really good, and I think the paint apps are beautiful, especially the pearlescent white that they use, but the color matching on the red isn't great. Also, the articulation is definitely lacking in some areas, and unfortunately the figure as a whole is very loose or kind of hard to manipulate. You can't really get a good grab on a bunch of parts because it'll start dismantling itself, and that's kind of unnerving when you're paying this much for a figure. It'll hold together relatively well, but it just feels very fiddly, and that's not very confidence-inspiring. However, this figure still looks really good, and I think it has an unbeatable shelf presence. Again, the paint is amazing, and the articulation is reasonably good. The build and materials are also really, really well done. Absolutely top shelf for fans' toys, but the rest of the aspects... Uh, I feel like they kind of fell short. Here's how Fans Toys Warthog scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's how Fans Toys Warthog scales with Fans Toys Phantasm and Takara Tomy Masterpiece Inferno. Here's how Fans Toys Warthog scales with Magic Square Light of Peace, and Fans Toys Goose. In his vehicle mode, huh? Warthog turns into an A-10 Thunderbolt 2? Where'd that come from? In Warthog's Warthog mode, this figure looks amazing. I have no idea how Fans Toys continues to pull these transformations out of their hat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this transformation is extremely difficult. There are a lot of panels that make up this figure, and there are several points that can be pretty frustrating. But ultimately, the result is so rewarding. Now, here's where I mentioned the color matching issue. You can definitely notice it on this mode where all of the panels are exposed. Now, I can't tell if I'm coping or if I'm not recognizing that I'm in denial, but my mind is just automatically accepting this failed color matching because the Warthog looks like it's made out of a bunch of different sheets of sheet metal, and obviously they're not all going to be the same color. So in a weird way, I kind of accept that the paint isn't matched everywhere. But regardless, the details on this are incredible. There's almost no kibble, and I think the transformation was absolutely stunning. Here's how Fans Toys Warthog scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Art Fire, and Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. Here's how Fans Toys Warthog scales with Fans Toys Phantasm and Fans Toys Goose. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Fans Toys Warthog. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo, reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.